Today, according to Forget the Fiction, Look at the Facts article I have in my resources, 4.9 million people die worldwide each year, and, out of, and almost 500,000 of those are in America. And these, these people all have died from causes of smoking, from the many diseases. And today my speech is going to be about smoking and how unhealthy it is, and, I'm, and my solution for it is going to be first I'm going to go through what smoking does what how what it what it causes and all the effects of it and then I'm going to give the, my solution will be um, my solution is that I believe that we should give more money to helping people quit I think the solution is helping people quit so uh, first off I'm going to start with giving what diseases smoking causes According to my parental smoking article, it causes vascular stenosis, lung cancer, heart attacks, chronic obstructive disease, and finally it leads up to Alzheimer's disease. All of these diseases, yeah, right here I have on this, on this board here I have uh, two examples of of the lung cancer and what it does to you, uh, how it makes your makes your lungs black. And then next, I have on on my board here what the what the parts of the cigarette, all the chemicals that are put into it. And I has an explanation on here for which one causes which disease, and uh, out of the many diseases I just listed, in, and that has that on there. Next, uh, another fact that I have is from Forget the Fiction, Look at the Facts article. I have, it's, it states that it is a fact that smokers spend an average of 3,000 US dollars a year on cigarettes. Now I have on my board here uh, the range of the, the ages for how many people smoke per age, per age group on here. And on here the 21 to 25 uh, years old group is the highest highest age group now if you are 21 or 22 and you are spend and you're spending three thousand years three thousand dollars a year on cigarettes that's a lot that could I know for me that could pay a good deal of my tuition but instead they're paying that much money to kill themselves and as with the diseases I, I listed before now I'm going to go on to the solution that I, I believe is, is the best, and that is helping people quit. Um, <clears throat> um, from my article, it's never been easy to stop. Uh, it, st it states that it has many ways of getting, uh, of getting help and how you can quit, and these are the, the list of some ways to, to quit. You can call the numerous hotlines they have, um, all over the world, many, all, every country has a, a hotline. And on my board here, I put a couple of them. I have a picture here with a slogan on it that has the number, and then I have another two numbers on there. Um, you can get uh, family support, have your family really help you. Um, they have nicotine replacement therapy. That's a bit expensive and is not doesn't always work, but it's still another way to help quit. Uh, they have nicotine pads to help take it slowly wean you off the nicotine. Um, Champix, which is another drug they use. And you can also help once you get down. If you still have the urge just to at least have a cigarette in your hand, you can use a fake one. Um, and now on my board here, I have uh, the five most addictive substances uh, in the U.S. and smoking is the second is the second most and that's this is why I think this solution uh, we need this solution because it, it's it has many millions of people in the U.S. are addicted to it. Now most countries today they sponsor ads to help stop smoking and many places have banned it but in my opinion, the best way to uh, 
uh, get rid of the smoking and get it out of the world is to help the people quit. And even though it has, the smoking has decreased in uh, the levels of sm smokers has decreased in developed countries, it's still a very uh, rising issue in underdeveloped countries such as China and, and even in Russia. They, they have a, a growing smoking rate, and especially in the young adults. And um, also, what one thing with smokers they don't realize is is that they they can't they might not only hurt themselves they might also hurt others and that was also another big problem in the underdeveloped countries is uh, with secondhand smoke they don't realize the effect that they're having on others even though they're just condemning themselves out of doing it but also the people around them because with the rising smoking rates in the other countries it's all you can be around 10 people and it's almost as if you're smoking if they're all smoking. That's how bad it can be. But in conclusion, for the final solution that I believe is our best way to help them is to help them quit through the numerous ways that I, I had them listed. You can help get a call a hotline for it or you can uh, have your family help you or use the nicotine pads. And that is what I believe uh, is the best solution to help solve the smoking problem in this world today.